Once again, hello guys, welcome to the forexboat.com, Victor with you here. And we are having another idea. It's actually out of our schedule, but yet it's a very interesting trade setup for gold. I would like to remind you that all the information that will be presented in this video is just for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. Again, quick run up through the previous ideas. Now, Canadian, Japanese basically stopped out because it broke above uh, this high. So we are out of this trade. Swiss franc, higher stop loss at 111.65. If price gets above this high, it's uh, it gets invalidated. So stopped out. Euro Australian dollar moving to towards our target. Still expecting this rally to continue, although uh, there is a support that there, there might be some consolidation, but it seems that support got broken. It will be important to see the daily close below this uh, price. Australian New Zealand dollar, as we said, the sell trade is valid. So we are waiting for this decline. New Zealand Swiss franc, quite a nice rally uh, has begun. Uh, could be some consolidation, but overall price is moving to our target. Uh, Euro New Zealand dollar reached the target. So this uh, on this idea, we are out. Uh, and since New Zealand Swiss franc corresponds, well, it correlates to the Euro New Zealand dollar, uh, half of the profit can be taken as well. And half and the rest, basically, we can place the stop loss at the break even and let the profits run. Uh, same can be done on the euro Australian dollar since it's also corresponds to the euro New Zealand dollar. But at the same time, we got broken the, the target downside target. So it means that the price might be going further down and it most likely will. We just probably will see some correctional move, which might provide another opportunity. Now to our gold idea. What we see in terms of the price action is formation of this double top we can see the spike again spike here and we fail to close the above the previous high only spikes produced now we have used this fibonacci level from this top down to this level because this was the highest high which hasn't been broken we had no close above there would be there was a spike but not no close above the spike same here we had this low, then spikes, and no close above this spike. So we use this level. What we see is 88.6% FIPS, uh, which is very common and the strongest retracement level, mostly on stocks and the, on the commodities as well. And this is why it plays a very important role on gold. Not that much on uh, currencies, but on commodities, it plays quite well. It corresponds with the previous resistance, and now it acting as the support. We can see this level plays an important role, could be acting as a magnet once again for the gold, since we see this formation of this double top. Besides, the uptrend trend line got broken on the daily chart, also important, uh, and it suggests that the price will be correcting down further. Now, if we move to the 30 minute chart, here what we can see is lower lows lower highs are being printed very nice bounce of the moving average simple moving average right there prior to that bounce of the exponential moving average then this area became the resistance price rejected it and finally we produced a lower low price broke below the previous low which is very good if we look for the selling opportunity now i have applied this uh, downtrend trend line and the best case scenario would be obviously to wait until the price corrects to this level approximately and it also corresponds to our trend line and 1717 seems to be like a good area for shorting gold to target uh, 1670 area which is 88.6 fips the stop loss above this high at 1735 or uh, which is about both moving averages should be good enough and in in this case we're having risk reward two to one so the idea is to wait for this correction it, the price might not exactly touch it could be even lower it's also good to look for opportunities anywhere between 1740 720 
for this uh, shorting opportunity. I think it will be quite a fast decline, which will start tomorrow, basically. So yeah, maybe a few days we'll, we'll, we will see, in a few days we will see price reaching the target. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's the idea for today. And the new one is coming tomorrow. So subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the like button. We'll see you tomorrow and profits to everyone.